there's a new tool for sewists that I really think could be a great resource for all of us. And I wanna share this with you because it does look uh, super cool. And if you follow the Sewing Report main channel, you might have may have already seen this, but it's this, uh, it's a web-based app called Backstitch. And I just thought this was a really neat thing and I wanna share this with you. This is not sponsored. I'm not, you know, I don't benefit in any way from talking about this. I don't know the people behind it, but it just looked really neat. I saw some folks on Reddit talking about Backstitch and I was like, oh, that looks interesting. What is it? So it's this, we've seen th a few things in the same vein before, but they haven't really taken off. Um, this is, it's like a website. I imagine they're trying to do like a, an app for like the iOS store or like the Android store, but it's basically like a way to organize your whole sewing life. So you can, so it says a better way to organize your sewing, plan your projects, organize your fabric stash and discover inspiring patterns while connecting with the community that shares your passion with sewing. So I actually signed up for this thing and there, so basically what it is, so it's like a web application that you can use on any device with a browser. And right now it's in beta. So it's sort of like a testing phase and you can sign up to be part of the beta and they're accepting new people like every few weeks. I actually got in pretty quick. I was surprised. I don't know if maybe they thought it was me and they're like, oh, let's let her in. I don't know. Uh, so basically, a lot of people are comparing Backstitch to Ravelry, which is like a website for knitters. And it is, it does have some similarities. So it says Backstitch is sometimes compared to the knitting platform Ravelry, which we are similar to in some ways. Like Ravelry, we also have a pattern database. However, we do not sell patterns, just as the techniques and materials differ between sewing and knitting. So do the features and focus of our platforms. So it is free and you can download it for, you can get it for free. And what it is, is it's a place where you can actually kind of, you can actually like kind of organize your entire fabric collection. So you can digital, have like a digital, like um, a digital fabric stash. So you can organize all your fabrics. It kind of helps you like figure out what you have. You can also upload or include all of your patterns and then it helps you plan out your sewing projects. So you can, you know, if you have a hundred fabrics, you can take a picture of all your fabrics and then have it digitally in one place. And then you can do the same thing with your patterns. But what I like about this thing backstitch, and I will bring up my own account, is that you can actually, um, there's a big community aspect to it. So you can actually, like, it's building this huge, like, database of patterns, like all patterns from big four to indie patterns which I think is huge because there is patternreview.com, but let's be real, that website looks super dated and I think it, it does have some like limitations and it's a bit clunky to use, but I like that this thing kind of encompasses a lot of like the best things we like about so different social media platforms. There's a little bit of Instagram in it, a little bit of Pinterest, a little bit of like Ravelry or like patternreview.com, but you can actually plan out and organize your, like it's got like a way to track all of your sewing projects. And you they also are adding new features. So you can actually chat with the developers of Backstitch and tell them what you would like to see on the platform. And they've been really trying to make the platform, make, do improvements on the platform and make it better and more of what sewists want to see. There's a huge community aspect, so you can connect with other sewists here. You can see what other people are working on. You can see what other fabrics and patterns they have. You can see what patterns people are do other people are doing. And then um, I think this is awesome. You can review patterns and upload your own photos of your projects. And I think this can be very helpful to people if you're researching what patterns to sew. You can see what problems other folks have had, what people liked, what people didn't like what that pattern actually looked like sewn out, what fabrics work best. I can see this being really huge and I'm gonna log into my account so you can see what it is. But I did a video over on the main channel, uh, kind of doing like a basic walkthrough and I showed you guys how to do a few different things with the app. I just think this thing that looks really freaking cool. And I just think this could be a really huge like thing for the sewing community. So let me bring this up here. All right, so. Here is my homepage, I'm sewing report, and it's cool, so you can see, like, so there's a lot of different sections here. I don't have any projects up, but you can up, like, you can basically 
start a project, you can like plan it out, you can make notes on it, you can put what stage you're in, like are you in the planning stage, are you in progress, is it finished? And it got, you can also, it can help you keep track of what fabrics you have, what patterns you have, what projects you've worked on and what you've sewn. And I think this looks super cool. So it's got uh, projects, fabrics. I uploaded two just to uh, try it out here. And there's lots of different um, information you can input into each fabric you upload or everything you do on here. Uh, there's patterns. I put like, uh, so here's, so you can either do all patterns and this is helping like kind of, this is helping to be sort of a repository, like an aggregate for all of the patterns, whether they be indie patterns, big four, whatever. And I think this can be really helpful for vetting indie pattern companies because not all of them are the same quality. And I know there are some where I'm like, it can be hard to decipher whether the, pat the indie pattern is any good or not. So I think this could be really helpful to people. So you can sort between all patterns, you can do my stash, so I have the poolside toe pattern here and you can filter, you can search for different patterns. Like you can, it kind of can help you figure out what pattern to pick. I just think this looks super awesome and I'm really excited to, to kind of play with this more. And it, this looks super cool. My lists, um, here's like things you want to do. Okay, this is like what to buy. Okay, so this is cool. So you can help you plan out your project in terms of what you have to get, what uh, notions you need. Okay, a to-do list and there's a free version with most of the features and they are offering a paid version called Backstitch Plus. It's $5 a month or like 48, I think it was like $48 per year, something like that. And this is basically to like help the developers sustain this platform. It does cost money and resources to do this. Uh, so it's either $5 a month. Normally, I've kind of made this clear, I normally don't promote anything subscription-based this is optional and I do kind of like that this is like, um, you know, like an in, like this is not like a big company. These are two individuals doing it. And here I'll show you the people behind Backstitch. They look super cool. And I actually talked to them a bit on Instagram and they seem very nice. Uh, so here is the mission behind Backstitch here. So it's a platform for sewers to organize their sewing, discover new patterns, and share their experiences and process with others. So the mission is uh, we are committed to creating a useful, fun, and inspiring space for the sewing community with Backstitch. So they are getting feedback. They want to continuously improve. They want it to be easy to use and a place for everyone. I think it's awesome. And it's uh, these are the developers, uh, Guru Lindel Flatten and uh, Andre Johnson. Uh, they're co-founders, and one person is the designer, one person is the developer. And um, now I did see some comments on the video I put out on the mains channel. Uh, people do have com some concerns about the platform. And here's the thing. I know sometimes we've gotten burned before where something starts out really great. And then the what was like a good thing, like i.e. Craftsy, starts off great and then it ends up being sold to a larger company and then the platform goes to shit. We've all been there. Um, I think that's an interesting thing. You know, I do think that's a valid concern. Um, I did see on the like community ask, oh, and let's go, let's go here because I do want to share this with you. Over on the, so they have like a discussion like, or a my community tab and then you can look at discussions or activity. So the activity is you can see what other people do are doing, which is cool. So you can see like someone wrote a review. These people are talking about something. Uh, but in the discussion section, you can also ask for support and feedback. And I did see them talk, the developers interacting with people and basically saying that they want to make sure that this remains a good platform. So I do think that people with that concern, I think it's very valid, but I do think these developers seem fairly committed uh, to making sure that they don't lose a good thing. So if that is a concern, you are welcome. If you join the beta or you want to join the platform, um, you could definitely bring that up. And I think they seem like very transparent and honest people. So you could certainly talk to them about it and ask about, um, you know, what their thoughts are to make sure that this platform stays high quality and doesn't, you know, doesn't get ruined by something like being bought out. So I do, you know, so they have been very open about the mission and they're very committed to making sure this platform is a, remains to be a good thing. Um, 
So a lot of people are writing thoughts and comments. Uh, so I do think they've probably heard though they've probably heard that from people before. And you know, if that's something that you you know, if you you know, but I would encourage you if you want to check out check out the free version, see what you think about it. And if you do have concerns about the platform. I would highly recommend joining the discussion and then bringing that up to the developers. They seem like they're very open to uh, constructive feedback, and I do think that that would be something that they would want to address. Um, but they, you know, and again, I, I understand. We again, guys, we've been burned. We've been burned by craft. See, we've been burned by a co I think a couple other things, and we've had some apps before like this where some like I think there was another one where. It was meant for quilters to like kind of organize their fabric stash. That one like didn't really take off much. And I do think the success of platforms like Backstitch is highly dependent upon the user base. If they don't get a, enough people using it, no matter how good the platform is, it's just not going to take off unless a large amount of us use it. So I do think this looks really interesting and I'm curious to see where it goes. Um, again, I've been very 100. Again, this is not sponsored or anything. And, you know, if there's something I don't like about it, I'll certainly share that here. But I do think this looks really promising and I like where it's going. I think this could be a real game changer for the sewing community because I think this is a social media platform. Like, it's not really social media. It's It almost takes out, like, the popularity contest. There's no followers. There's no likes. I kind of like that about it. So it's not like, hey, who can get the most people following us on Backstitch or whatever. I am very interested to see like what they do with this because I do think this looks real, like potentially really big because we could use something like Ravelry because it's almost like you go to Pinterest for one thing, you go to like pattern review for other things. There's some things you go to Facebook groups. There's some things you go to Instagram for. And I feel like this combines a lot of things into one platform and I think this just looks really promising. So, you know, I'm going to be checking out Backstitch and playing around with it. Uh, but if you've heard of it, let me know what you think.